Hello friends. Before starting uh, the Ampere's law, I want to discuss the importance of Ampere's law. Ampere's law is used to uh, find the magnetic field. Suppose uh, a current carrying conductor is there. We know that the current carrying conductor has a magnetic effect. We will find the we will find the magnetic field. This magnetic field with the help of Ampere's law only. We have a windings in the transformer machines. Nothing but a solenoid. Winding is also called a solenoid. We will calculate the magnetic field of solenoid. Suppose wind winding has a core. Nothing but like this. Or solenoid having a core. Nothing but a, we use this configuration in transformer. There also we have a magnetic field phi. We will calculate this also. This flux also or magnetic field density with the help of uh, amperes law only. So we will, I will start uh, from with this configuration, the simplest one. Uh, actually, all are simple, but we need to have a good idea uh, about the magnetic field configuration. As we know that the state con state conductor have a magnetic field uh, concentric around this around the conductor. Likewise, we we must be knowing uh, the configuration of this solenoid windings. Nothing. This is like this and like this. This go. So and in transformer case it is like this. So this much only information is needed to calculate to use the Ampere's law. So uh, let us uh, let let us start from this configuration only. Face the dust. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's see. This is a conductor having a current I. This conductor is extended upward infinitely and downward infinitely. Okay. Uh, it is obvious that the if, uh, if current is present, there will be a magnetic field around the conductor like this. Now we are required to find out the direction of this magnetic field. Now take your thumb, point in the direction of current. Now wrap your four fingers like this this four finger will give you the direction of magnetic field which is nothing but this direction b b and at each and every point the direction of magnetic field is tangential suppose distance is r okay this distance is r radius r okay at each and every point magnetic field is tangential okay or and this is this is the source of this magnetic field current ampere's law gives the relation between this source and this magnetic field nothing but current the uh, relation is like this close interval b dot dl is equals to mu i enclosed okay this i enclosed is the source and this is the uh, this is the magnetic field produced by this source okay and this is the mu is the medium in which this magnetic field is produced this mu this is the characteristics of medium okay now we are we are required to perform this mathematic mathematical operation so this is a dot product so expand it b dot dl cos theta is equals to mu i enclosed theta is the angle between b and dl okay the uh, now this is the closed loop path this is the path we are following this path this closed loop path and dl is the small length okay dl is, DL is the small length this is dl uh, we can see here that the direction of b and the dl are same so theta is equals to zero angle between b and dl is same because if we take the dl this will the direction of dl will be the same in the direction of magnetic field so theta is equal to zero so this become one cos zero is equals to one okay and also we can see here that at a distance r magnetic field is constant throughout this path throughout this path this magnetic field is constant so we can take out from this integration b we have taken out okay the remaining is dl 
dl the closed loop integral of dl it means the small small dl we are required to add integration is nothing but addition we are we, we need to add this all so uh, if we add this to total dl what will it will become 2 pi r is it isn't it 2 pi r to b into 2 pi r is equals to mu i enclosed i enclosed is nothing but what this i only in this closed loop the current encloses i so we will write it it as i okay so b is become b is equals to mu i 2 pi r okay so thank you